Welcome to the PLC Professors Workshop and Development Lab. This is going to be a real quick little presentation on the watchdog timeout fault with the Micro 800. Actually, it's not the watchdog fault with the Micro 800, it's with the Micro 800 simulator that faults. First, you begin by opening up Connected Components Workbench and open a Micro 800 project, but don't start the simulator. It doesn't matter whether you've got any logic in there or, or not. Do a Control-Alt-Delete Task Manager. Find the CCW shell, right-click, Set Affinity, and you're going to find it looking like this with all the processors selected. And you can see I have a dozen processors. so. I click on all processors to turn them all off, and then I just select three, OK. Then I start the simulator. Now when I go back and look at the details, Control, Alt, Delete, Task Manager, Processes, you see I also have the simulator. So right click, go to Details, right click, Set Affinity, and you can see it has the same setup as CCW. If you open up the simulator before you go do this, you're going to have to do this for both CCW shell and for the simulator. Uh, this works pretty well for me. As you can see, the simulator has faulted, and here's how you clear it. Now, notice I do have a project open. You don't need ladder logic in here. You don't need any code but you can't be online with the simulator unless you have a project open. So I have a project open. I didn't open it after it faulted. I already had it open. So I can go to the Micro 850 simulator tab. I can go to diagnose. I can go to fault, seeing it listed. I can clear the fault and then go back to the simulator. See, it's now cleared. Put it in the run mode. And I'm back in business. We'll go back to the program. You can see it's working now. 